Hello everyone, here's a new series that I've made called Silena's Old Stories where I, uh, you know, look over my old stories and make fun of them. I briefly analyze these stories, try to make sense of them, and best of all, shit all over them. I will do an overview of underdeveloped characters, stories, and their disgustingly shallow world. For this first episode, I am going to be covering Six Survivors. Six Survivors was basically a story about a pack of dogs and other animals, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't know how to properly word this, alright? I'm just gonna steal a description from some old piece of writing that I'm, gonna, <laughs> that I'm gonna go over later. Okay, so this says, A pack dog named Pointer tells a story about a wolf with rabies who turns out to be real. Six animals must separate from their pack and team up to survive the wolf and reunite with their pack. Sounds sort of interesting, doesn't it? Um, well, actually, it's not. The story is actually, like, a, a big sack of dog ass. <laughs> Let me explain with one word. It's shallow. Well, that's two words, but shut up! That summary right there just basically tells you the interesting parts. The rest of the story is just a big, fat, nothing burger. Okay, so, uh, I don't- I don't know how to transition, so let's just hop into this. <laughs> okay, so, there's a bunch of random Six Survivors content floating around on the internet. Most of it's here on YouTube, but there's also some stuff I remember being on Wattpad and Instagram. God knows where else. I was really happy to think I was gonna make this big. So, uh, how did Six Survivors start? Well, uh, it started with me playing with stuffed animals when I was like 11, so I think that's all you need to hear to know that we're in for a wild ride. Also, um, sparkly things. You know what they say. Leave a little sparkle everywhere you go. If you want to see some of my reactions to the original series, they'll be on my second channel, which is linked in the description. So once I finished the plushie series, I was thinking, hey, wouldn't it be so cool if I tried to do something artistic with this? No, it will not. So, uh, yeah, the original series, as said, is pretty shallow, but in some ways it's still entertaining because, I mean, come on, what's not entertaining about watching a kid make their stuffed animals violently murder each other? Plus, you know, I was just having fun playing with toys, so the story not being good was pretty excusable. That's when I was like, I want to make comics out of these and sell them on shelves! What? Well, yet again, considering all the shit that gets put on shelves these days, I guess this dream was not too unachievable. But anyway, I'm here to look at the art side of this, so strap in, because we're going on a bumpy ride. Alright, the trailers. Okay, well, before that, I guess I should introduce you to the characters of this story. Okay, so here's uh, the main character, Rox. He's the serious one, and here are his friends. Uh, the, the scared one. The sweet one, the, uh, the, the other serious one, the, the other woman, and uh, the one. Characters sound pretty fleshed down, don't they? Oh, and also, here's this guy. He's the mysterious one, and this guy's the ooh, scary one, who apparently is supposed to have rabies. Uh, I, I think that just kind of makes dogs go crazy and then kills them in like 10 days. I don't think it makes someone become a rabid, overpowered murderer, so, uh... And you might want to consider fixing this, because it is not scientifically accurate. All of the other characters I do not give a rat's ass about. Pups are playful, the background characters have no personality whatsoever. That's all you need to know about them. Alright, so now on to trailers. The first trailer of Six Survivors was dropped in 2020, released on May 3rd, I'm pretty sure. Who cares about the dates? I ain't trying to do anything serious right now, okay? The, the trailer is very misleading, considering this is my crusty, nasty, old art being used for the trailer of a plushie series, but let's just watch the video. Alright, here we go. Eh, they look so crusty. Ah, scary. Good, we are back. I don't get time to process none of this. Look at- Eww! Why, why is the head so flat? Why is her nose so big, big ass nose? I hate, hate. Eww! Look at their paws, dude. This is disgusting. What is this? Why legs? Okay, so there's pups playing. Uh, it's zoomed in all of a sudden. Look at her rat nail leg skinny. I don't know. What do I even say about this art, dude? It's bad. <laughs> I hope the story tone won't scare the kids too bad. Why don't you just call them pups? 
and there was a group of six camping. What they didn't know is that there was someone in the forest. <laughs> this story seems so real. Ugh. Oh, scary. Okay. <laughs> they say the wolf still lurks to this day. Dude, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this art. Look at his ear. Look at his flat head. Why is his eye so low? Why is his neck so skinny? It's just... <sighs> See, one thing I wish this trailer did is that I, I wish I didn't write anything. I wish I would just let you guess the story, you know? Because that's kind of more interesting than it just being, like, dictated to us like this. But anyway... That story was so scary and vivid. Hopefully I don't get nightmares. We are human. This is how we talk. <laughs> it's honestly fake. Ah, scary face. That means absolutely nothing to the story. But this is the wolf with rabies. Ah, test, because I don't know what to draw. What? <laughs> Run, everyone. Alpha! <laughs> I can tell I just got so lazy. Ah, scary. I love how you can tell I just gave up on the backgrounds here. That was horrible. I remember that incident from a while back. I'm glad we are all back to- Scary face! Ah! Ah! Okay, that was awful. So now let's watch some animation memes. Yay! Like two of these I never finished. Thank the actual lord. But yeah, these spoil the whole story. Okay, so we have dreams. <laughs> Why do they look like that? Why? Okay, so basically, to explain, this was Pointer when he was a little puppy. Um, that's his little sister. That's Mr. Wolf Guy. Alright. And yeah, this basically stoil stoils? Spoils the whole story. Years later. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> he will never come here. Why she looked like that? Oh my god, is Mr. Wolf Guy. <laughs> Why where's her nose? Oh wait, I wanna know what that drawing was there. I can't even read that, bro. Enjoy. I'm gonna enjoy this. Beautiful run cycle. Yeah, that's where it ends. I love how I just left the whole rest of the video here. Time for another work in progress. Lip sync. Yeah, this will help you a lot. This looks awful. Oh, yeah. Also, yeah, this is Pointer and his little sister again. And Mr. Wolf Guy also. So, yeah, I, I, I think you can guess the lore, you know? But anyway. Also, I don't know... I don't know why his little sister is a husky when he's like supposed to be like a German shore hair pointer. And then like, I, d I don't even know, dude. I I'll explain the rest of the story in a different video because I'm probably never going to pick up six survivors again. But. Lip sync. Very nice. His, what, what is going on with his body? He's got no neck. Best friends forever. This spoils the whole story. Oh my god, he's going edgy mode now. Look at all the eyes in the back. This looks absolutely awful. Oh my god, guys. I need to fix this part. Who is that guy? Actually, I know who that guy is. Beautiful animation there also. Definitely not making my eyes bleed. It looks good. Where? Where's the rest of the... Come on. Oh my god, look. It's shots from the trailer because I didn't want to draw anything else. I didn't want to draw anything else for this part. Miss Lazy didn't want to draw anything else, so he's just a bunch of shots from the trailer. Great animation! Okay, last one. Unfortunately, this one was finished, but thankfully it does not have that much effort put into it. Incredible animation. I love how it's not even animated and there's this disgusting background and there's just... Pictures squishing and squashing. Oh my god, he's scary. This dog's guts are fucking everywhere. The, oh my god. It's blood. It's scary. Bloody, blood equals scary. 
I love how this gives away the whole story. I mean, at least it does it discreetly, but like, still. Those were disgusting. Okay, so um, now we're gonna watch the trailer that was made after the plushie series, which was dropped. I, I don't know when, I don't care. Probably sometime in 2020 still. This trailer is a little bit more accurate to the content, you know, as it's for the comic series, but this art style is not the same as it was in the comics! <laughs> oh boy. Wait. <laughs> Oh boy, it's another Six Survivors trailer, and it looks exactly like the other one. Just the art style is... In comparison to whatever that other thing was, this is at least better. This isn't good, but this is better at least. But also, something I hate about this trailer is that, okay, for one thing, it still has the text, and for another thing, I was trying to show off my animation skills to an audio that sounds like there would not be a lot of animation paired with it. You know what I mean? That spin was awful. Look at his stupid face. He's so punchable. Oh my god. <laughs> this story feels so real. Uh, uh, scary. Uh. <laughs> okay. That was scary. I hope I don't get nightmares. Okay, look, that actually matches the style of the music in this video. The animation there. Uh, the rest of this doesn't know. The, 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 the wolf with the, 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 the rabies. Why is her eye flat at the bottom? Oh, uh, I don't want to draw anymore, so here's some text. I still don't want to draw, so here's some text. That he was real all this time, but you never listened to me. Why? Oh yeah, this lore in the background means absolutely nothing. It's just there for spook factor and trying to make you think about stuff. Like, it means absolutely nothing. It means nothing at all. Fucking nothing. Ah, scary. That was bad. Okay, well, hey, at least there's no text here, so it doesn't spoil the ending. That is, that is, a, that is a good change. That's a positive change from the last one, but this is still awful. Horrible. Now, you are probably wondering about the comics in question. Well, it's time to hop over to Instagram. Yes, yeah, so, uh, the comic dub that was here on YouTube that maybe two people watching this will remember. I, I don't blame you, Six Survivors is pretty forgettable. Um, yeah, that wasn't the first version of the comic. There was this version I put up on Instagram that I guess I put nothing up on YouTube about for some reason. I don't know why and I really don't care. There is also another version of this, but I can't bother to dig up those old ugly pages, so I'm just gonna look at these. Alright, here we are on Six Survivors Archive. Okay, here's this cover, which actually at first glance, it's- I mean, in terms of like how I like did the colors and the shading and lighting, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen, you know? It actually kind of looks like a comic. But like, okay, the art style is really fugly and also they kind of look like plastic. Oh my god, it's the scary guy and I don't know why there's another cover, but... Okay, there's another cover. Chapter 1, there's this random vine hanging down, there's that very beautiful gorgeous tree up there. Uh, yeah. Well, Jim, it seems like we're the only ones here, unless if your dad and or the pack comes back. Okay, well, what can I do right now? You can go play, but you have to stay in this area, okay? Now go along and have fun, and I love how this takes up the whole panel, because I did not want to draw. Like, okay, I get that laziness sometimes, but it's like, come on, man, hide it a little better, you know? At least make it, you know, I don't, I don't even know. And be careful! You know, you could have drawn her yelling, but I guess that's just too much work, isn't it? Look at his beautiful, I don't even know, this, what is going on with the anatomy here? I'm just not even gonna question it. Uh, I know. Uh, can I just go play now? <laughs> go ahead. There's this spine that's growing down by my face. I don't. I got a counter to even give. Yay! You could have drawn him turning around this way because he was angry over here. You could have drawn him turning this way, but you know. Uh, he's. That's Jim. Okay. I wish there was someone here to play with me. No. Guess who's back? <gasps> Look at his stupid punchable little face. I want to beat him up. Daddy! 
He's running! Look at this beautiful perspective. <laughs> hey, Jim, go home. Oh, hey, Steel! Oh, wait, no, that's Jim's, uh, Jim's voice. Oh, hey, Steel! Very beautiful art. Very beautiful art. So, did you see any anything on patrol? Uh? <laughs> I, ju I just saw a wolf sleeping go home. He doesn't look like he's sleeping. He looks like he's dead. Um, was it a wolf from our pack? What do you think? <laughs> no, I can't recognize it. But I'm sure we fine and I'm gonna leave it alone. Alright, that's a little bit weird though. There's not very many wolves around here. What do you mean? What do you There's plenty of wolves around here. Do you. Uh, okay. But yeah, but like what I say, lions will leave it alone, you'll be fine. No, I was about to say, you know, props to me for being able to keep the proportions of the characters consistent, but that really means nothing when all these characters have the same fucking face and the same hair and the same everything. It's just, that doesn't mean much. Okay, well, do you know if the pack is coming back? <laughs> Probably in a few minutes, I'm not really sure. I'm excited to see all my friends again, and my sister. Uh, that's, I mean, uh, that's good. Well, it's getting late first. <laughs> okay, well, how's the sun already setting? The sun was up high in the sky in, like, the first chapter panel, and now the sun is setting. Like, what's going on? Uh, come over here. Yeah, it's getting cold. Oh, that. Uh, very beautiful drawing. Beautiful drawing of broken leg. Beautiful art. Wait for me! Uh, uh, look at the shock on his face. He looks so shocked. That the, the definitely does not look like the dead expressions that all these guys have. Come over here! Oh, wait. What? Wait, that's the end. Wait, that's it. That's where it ended. Oh, also, I love how it's like cut off text, question mark, question mark, question mark. Wait for me! Why would you add the question marks? This character, we're about to know her name in like two seconds, okay? If, if only there was another page, but why is it like question mark, question mark, question mark? Like this is some kind of mysterious ooh, character, like, no, it's just another stupid ass kid. Good thing that was discontinued. All right, so sometime in 2021, I think, I was sick of the idea of trying to draw a comic, so I went onto Wattpad and typed out the story instead. And do you want to know something funny about this? I was actually going back and forth between the original video and typing the story. Even I had forgotten about my shallow pit of a story. Okay, pit? This is not even a pit. This story runs about as deep as those deceiving caves I always find in my Minecraft world. Okay, but um, yeah, that's not the point of what I was trying to say here. It's that nothing has changed at all. Like maybe like one or two minor things that don't contribute much to the story. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So the written version is not like a redo of anything. It's just six survivors written by 12 year old me who could not write and Boy, this thing is a slog to tear through. I'm not even going to touch the chapters, but if for whatever reason you want to drain all the energy and life out of your body trying to read this, I'm going to link the story in the description. So uh, as you guys know, of course I didn't finish that written version and I can't get back into my Wattpad account, so it is left there to rot. Alright, so um, the comic dub. That was interesting. Uh, yeah, also, not to mention, not even a long while later, I tried to boot this thing back up again! And guess what? Nothing changed! Did I really brainwash myself into thinking that this was a good story for that long? Alright, now, you must be wondering, why is the middle of the story so bad? Okay, so, um, this is me editing this video right now, and also I'm using my computer, so the audio is pretty, probably pretty crunchy right now. Um, but, yeah, I kind of forgot to explain the beginning of the story, so I'm just gonna do it real quick. So basically, there's a bunch of stupid-ass character introductions. And then, ooh, Scary Dog Pointer tells the story to the pups about the scary wolf guy with the rabies. 
And then, oh, that very night, Wolf Guy comes in and kills some of them. <sighs> so that was the beginning. And actually, looking back at Six Survivors, it had a decent setup. What a shame. Well, you know, it's because, oh, they went hunting. Oh, no. <sighs> the rabid murder dogs tried to kill them. Good thing they have conveniently placed spaces to hide. They hunted again, but, oh, no. Rox is starting to lose his mind and go insane. One week after the event, it wasn't even anyone important that he cared about who died. But let's ignore that. Oh no! Rox is sad and wants to go back home, but, 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 but he can't because the p -p -p plot told him not to! Sounds just great, right? Doesn't help that Rox is a big fucking baby. Wah! I wanna go home! I miss my family! I hate you guys for the logic the plot told you to have! Oh, I gotta go crazy! No! I am if you keep that shit up! Okay, so, um, the character that I'm writing right now, Valerie, is a big fucking baby sometimes. He cries about his problems and doesn't know what to do about them, but guess what? His whole story is not about his ass crying. It's also him trying to navigate the wasteland that the world has become and trying to survive in it while also trying to stay sane and form relationships. I'm not gonna go on to some whole in-depth analysis here or try to teach some kind of lesson, but please, for the love of God, if you're going to make a character like this, don't make the whole story about the bitch crying. It's annoying as fuck, and it makes me want to throw your character across a football field and watch that become a stain on the wall! <laughs> so anyway, he- <laughs> So, how does the story end? Well, Rox and his dumbass friends finally decide to go back home. They weren't even that far from home! You guys could have done this ages ago! Cause, do, do you want to know when they finally decide to go back home? TWO FUCKING YEARS LATER! TWO YEARS! They take a very treacherous journey back home that's comprised of walking and talking and more walking and ooh, ooh, here's the wolf, but wait, he's not chasing after us. Ooh, mystery. Foreshadowing for future seasons. Yeah, we'll get to that. But anyway, they go back home, everyone and their stupid kids who for some reason are still kids. Are so glad to see them. Seriously, after two years, those children would be all grown up, but they're still kids? What is this, Alpha and Omega? Anyway, yeah, um, after they get home and all celebrate, Pointer tries to tell a story, but Miss Background Character, who I think is named Raven, I really don't care, it's like, no, we don't have time for a story. Ooh, what is he gonna say? Ooh, foreshadow. Shut up! Anyway, yeah, they celebrate, yada yada yada, and every year they have an anniversary date for when the pack came back that they all celebrate because time matters to these wild animals. And also, for some reason, Rabies' dog just stops tormenting them, and um, it's been two years, how is this dog not dead? But after one of the celebrations, Willow is by herself for no reason and talking to herself. Damn. She's like, that party was fun. I'm so glad we got back to our pack. Yes, I am human. This is how we talk. But, 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 but then, the, 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 the wolf is b -b -b behind her. Oh, scary. Oh. Yeah, that's six survivors. Incredible story. So if you've been paying a slight bit of attention to this video, I don't blame you if you didn't. But if you did, yeah, there's gonna be a Six Survivors 2. And I don't have a ton of content for it, but I do remember quite a bit of it. And oh boy, it was a mess. So let me know if you want to follow a video about Six Survivors 2. Alright, that's it. So uh, what do you guys think of this series? Should I continue or are you guys just screaming at me? Oh my god, Silena, for the love of god, just animate something! Let me know. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, bye!